Welcome to Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa. Today we'll go on a tour of this big and beautiful mission in between Santa Barbara and Mount Monterey. Mission San Luis Obispo is its nickname and is named after St. Louis of Anjou. It is the fifth mission on the mission chain. This mission is very old, founded on September 1st, 1772 by Father Juna Pera Serra. In 1845, everything in the mission was sold and wasn't operating. This mission has been through several earthquakes and native attacks. They found the perfect spot for a mission, so they started to build San Luis Obispo. This mission was standing for more than 300 years. Now, this helpful mission holds and helps and holds about 2,200 families. If you ask me, that's a lot. So first on our tour is the church where the mission people listened to the priest and learned about God and Christianity. They, in there were pews, paintings, a balcony, and a podium. The church had three bells to tell people to, what to do, like when they woke up, when it was time to work, and it was, when it was time to eat, and when it was time to take a siesta, a nap. a bed, chair, and desk. Now, we are now on our way to the storage rooms where they stored mostly wool and wood, but they kept tools in their storage rooms too. They stored their materials and kept the things they needed to make goods with. The courtyard has a little place in it to hang out and sit in the shade. It is now used for people when they visit. towards the garden. There is a fountain and some flowers. The garden is mostly for resting, enjoying the day, and looking at the beautiful flowers. Here is the cross, a sign of Christianity. Under the cross is some holy water. The workshops are next, and there they would make things such as goods out of wood and stone. The goods they made were used to trade and get things that they didn't make on their own. Each workshop had an anvil, chest, and work table. Behind the animals were all the crops. Wheat, potatoes, and carrots are some of the crops they provided. These crops were used for them to eat so they could survive.